Hendricks County is directly west of Indianapolis, Indiana, and is comprised of a mix of farmland and growing urban centers. There are almost 700 farms in the county, around 200,000 acres. About 84% of the county's land is farmland. Much of this farmland is used to grow commodity soybean and corn crops. At the same time, there are a growing number of farms that produce specialty crops and vegetables. There are around five farmers markets in the county and 60 farms that sell their produce directly to consumers. I absolutely love farming. There's a piece in that. I mean, I love getting my hands dirty and growing things and seeing things start from either a little chick hatching to uh, getting to the point where we are able to put that on someone's table and provide for their family, um, to planting the carrots and then being able to harvest them later on. There's just something really rewarding and feeling like you're um, kind of providing a service again to your community. The type of farming that we do is something that's not only good for food, but it's also good for the environment. More and more, Hendricks County farmers are adopting conservation farming practices, which benefit the land, water quality, and their bottom line. As a landowner, I think it's a gift that's been given to us. And I think we have the responsibility as well as the honor of being able to grow here, but the responsibility to make sure that the land is actually better off than when we first came here. We want to be able to pass something on to, to ne the next generation that is, that is, that they'll be glad to receive. Conservation is not hard to do. It does take a little extra management, but it's extremely important to protect the soil and to protect the wildlife in the soil. And the return you get back for it is is far more than the expense of the management and the time of management that you put into it. We've got to take care of the land or we won't have it. Close to one million acres of farmland were planted with cover crops in Indiana in 2017. Cover crops are now the third most planted crop in the state. In Hendricks alone, 100,000 acres are no-till, which significantly reduces the risks of topsoil erosion and nutrient runoff. Conservation to me means you know, trying to make for healthier soil, trying to keep our soil, uh, the topsoil that we have, managing our waterways to managing tile, to drainage, to managing our drainage outlets, um, to as far as just like some of our borders we have for habitat. The whole point of restoring the land is to do it naturally, and the cattle's fertilizer is what helps create that beneficial microbiome. Soil health is, to me, uh, preserving the living soil that we have. The soil is actually something that is, has a living environment, the biological activity in the soil. Indiana is a state that leads the nation in terms of the close working relationships that conservation agencies achieve. The Hendricks County Conservation Partnership, the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service, the Indiana State Department of Agriculture, and the Soil and Water Conservation District work in tandem to help farmers put conservation practices on their land. are things that farmers should be doing to conserve the soil. So my advice to people that aren't looking out for their soil is to contact their soil and water conservation district, go to the office and have them learn more about the importance of what conservation and soil health would be for their farm. These agencies exist to provide technical natural resource management and conservation assistance to farmers, residents, and municipal governments of Hendricks County. We have benefited tremendously from all kinds of help, assistance, advice from the NRCS office. 
The uh, NRCS and SABCD is, has also helped us in, in the way of, of networking. They've consistently put together programs where small farmers that can learn from one another um, and, and large farmers. They bring you resources that we need to use to help protect our land and, and we're losing it too fast. We just need to really, really use these and tap their, their resource to make that, make that possible. In our county, I'm involved with the Soil and Water Conservation District. But what I've seen in our county is that we have diversification that you would not believe. We have large farmers. I, I guess you consider myself a large farmer. We have several small farmers out there. We have organic farmers. We have farmers that are raising their own food in their backyard. And we have a lot of women farmers in this county. We have so much diversification that that's the reason we wanted to put something together to educate others of the excitement that we have here in Henry's County. I'm lucky with the Indiana State Department of Agriculture because we have a great partnership with the Natural Resources Con uh, Conservation Service and on the local level, the Soil and Water Conservation Districts. Uh, we really work together as a team to um, address the resources concerns in, in the areas on the local and state levels. The agencies that we work with, with the NRCS and SWCD and ISDA, um, they are one of the main avenues to bring science back into agriculture. We are here to help give you options on what to do with that ground, whether it be cover crops or waterways or any other type of service. So if you have questions on how to preserve your topsoil and help your farm and build soil health, we're here for you. There is a broad and growing diversity of farming operations in Hendricks County. There are commodity crop producers that manage thousands of acres of land. There are one acre organic farms that grow vegetables to sell at local farmers markets. There are beef cattle and sweet corn producers. All of these farmers serve an important role and make up the tapestry of farmland in Hendricks. I get to go to work every day and know that part of what I do is hopefully making a lasting impression on our world. It really serves as a great demonstration spot to show producers um, at varying levels, but primarily small scale, uh, how practices such as cover crops and pollinator habitat can really be incorporated into their operation and help them improve environment on their own footprint. Farmers have an awesome responsibility to feed the world. They control a lot of land, so it's important for them to, to keep in mind that the water coming off of their ground, the soil that is being used to grow that food, the air coming off of those farms is, uh, is critical and is under their control. As stewards of these resources, we want to work with them. We want to help them uh, continue to, to improve those resources. The SWCD staff and other conservation partners provide technical assistance, program services, grant funding, and trainings for people who own or operate farms in the county. We are here with resources and information that will help you make decisions about your land for today and for the future. Call us, email, or stop by the Hendricks County Soil and Water Conservation District, and we will help you help your land.